Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we are going to be trying out a brand new indie brand. This is Daivaroon Cosmetics. I'm not 100% sure that I'm pronouncing this right, but I am so excited because Monica Jones, M. Jones on Instagram, came out with her own brand. We've been acquaintances for a really long time. So I was very excited to see that she is coming out with her own makeup brand, and I knew that I had to purchase this and try it out for y'all. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Live swatches and I look, my thoughts at the end, you know the drill. So if you are new here, my name is Amy and I love talking about indie makeup brands. So if that is something that interests you, if you love hearing about new brands, maybe brands that just don't get enough hype, you love hearing about small businesses, make sure that you are subscribed for more content like this. Let's look at the inside because it is absolutely stunning. So here's what it looks like. It is called the Moth and the Moon palette. You can see it is very colorful. You've got a row of shimmers and a row of mattes and it kind of has a little bit of like a spooky vibe to it. You've got some spider webs and the packaging that it came in was also um, like decorated with spiders. This palette was a little bit pricey. I just pulled up the website to double check. It was 68 US dollars, but they do have affiliate codes. I used Deandra Nicole's to save a little bit of money off. I don't know how I didn't realize this before, but the shades don't actually have names in the pans and this palette is available as a BYOP. So you can buy just the packaging for $11, I believe, without anything inside if you really like the packaging. So the very first shade in here looks to be like a multi-chrome-esque shade. It's got some blue, some purple, some green, and it does feel very soft, very foil to the touch. It looks stunning. Oh, I was about to put the palette down so I could swatch it, but we have two more shades to go. <laughs> so the next shade is like this orange, yellow, peachy multi-chrome again super foiled, super, super pretty. And then we've got like a white iridescent shade. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm not gonna lie, like in the pan, that looked maybe like it was going to be a little bit powdery, but it is so smooth to the touch. Do you guys see that? That is beautiful. Look at that shift. Very, very intense. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. And this palette is sold out right now, so that is unfortunate, but I believe that they will be restocking it soon, so definitely check out their Instagram to stay up to date. Look at those shifts, that is so pretty. Okay, next we have a shade that has like a mauve purpleness to it and a green and pink shift, super, super metallic again. We've got a green here, which this green looks to be just a normal shimmer shadow. It's not super metallic, not super intense, doesn't, doesn't have any shifts going on, but it's still a pretty shade. It's kind of just very bright. And then we've got one more intense shadow. This one is a little bit more like textured to the touch. You can see it's a little bit more chunky, but it's a green base with a pink shift running through it. There's also some gold, definitely would call that another multi-chrome. So gorgeous. Okay. Oh my goodness, wait. Wow, that is beautiful. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing because that is stunning. Holy crap, okay. I'm gonna insert a little video for you right now of what these look like from the side because they are so shifty, so intense. I am so excited that I went ahead and purchased this. I just had a feeling it was gonna be really good. So let's go ahead and start swatching the mattes. The first shade we have is like just like a really soft kind of lavender shade. It feels pretty creamy to the touch. We've got a peach matte. Again, it feels nice and creamy. We've got like this really beautiful kind of like peacocky turquoise shade. That's pretty. Next we have a really beautiful kind of deep orchidy purple, which is so, so pretty. I love shades like that. We've got a soft green, super creamy. And then we have a bright true orange, which is pretty opaque. Ooh, that's pretty. 
So there is the entire palette swatched out. I think it looks really, really stunning. I'm definitely the most excited about the shimmers. They look so, so good, but overall, very pretty, very colorful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these swatches look like built up a little bit, and then we can jump on into the eye look. Okay, I really, really did not wanna wipe those swatches off. They were way too pretty, but let's go ahead and do an eye look. I feel like what I'm most into looking at this palette, like just right off the bat, this purple and this peach together were really, really calling to me. So I think I'm gonna start off with the really soft purple. I'm just using that on a big fluffy blending brush and throwing it through my entire crease. Definitely really good pigmentation right off the bat. I'm not too worried about building this up a ton. I kind of just want it to mostly just be a transition. And I feel like you can tell like right there, like if I was doing this, you could build it up, but because I'm using such a big fluffy brush, it's definitely softening the shade. So again, not being too precise, kind of just throwing that on. And now let's go into a slightly smaller brush. This is forever old. It's from Coastal Scents. I don't even think they're around anymore, but just grabbing some of the peachy shade now, this matte right here, I'm going to pop that on my outer V. Ooh, very pigmented, okay. Just kind of softly blending that into the purple. I definitely could have gone in with less. I feel like they swatch so creamy. I'm not surprised at all how easy they're blending. I like this side a little bit more because I went in with a little bit less product. That's okay. I think I'm just gonna take that same like smaller brush and I'm gonna go into some more of the purple because I really don't wanna lose that. And I'm going to kind of re-emphasize what's happening through my crease with the purple. See, look how much more pigmented that is just using a slightly more dense, smaller brush. So pretty. It's so like interesting slash cool how you can do so many different things with the same shade, just depending on what eyeshadow brush you're using. Very colorful already. It's kind of funny because I'm wearing like, just like all black, I work out black fans. I've got like a pair of like black denim jeans on and then my makeup is gonna be super bright. Part of me wants to stop there because I think it's so cute and soft, but then at the same time, I'm like, maybe let me try one deeper shade just to test it out, especially since I, this is their first palette, never tried anything from the brand before, so we need to go all out. I'm gonna grab one of my Singe Beauty brushes. Like I said, just picking up a little bit of that deep purple, just popping it right here. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Just doing the same thing on the other side and I am making sure to tap off my brush because in the pan there is a little bit of kick up. I did accidentally bring it up a little bit too high so I'm gonna go in with a shadow very similar to my skin tone. Just using this one from the Natasha Dona Mini Xenon palette. I'm just gonna blend. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna start off with the deepest purple again because it's so pretty. Just using that on a small, small pencil brush from Kaleidos that is unfortunately no longer available. I'm gonna pick up a lot of the soft lavender and I'm gonna use that for the rest of the lower lash line, just really letting that pop. Next, I think I'm gonna go into the lightest like iridescent multi-chrome and I'm gonna use that on my inner corner because I think it's gonna be stunning. Just pop that on my inner corner. Ooh, the like turquoise reflect on that is stunning. Okay, just like slowly adding that more and more. That's beautiful. Lastly, I'm kind of torn. Part of me wants to use this shade all over my lid but then also this one but I think this one is gonna win because the moment I swatched it, I was just like obsessed right away. And I love that the reflex in the multi-chromes like pair all of the mattes together so well, like whether you're wanting to go purple or peachy or green, like I feel like anything makes sense. So I'm just gonna pop that right on my lid. Ooh, my goodness, okay. That's stunning, just kind of popping it in the middle and then blending it into everything else that's happening with my finger. And you can definitely see like the ships of pink, of green, 
that purple base. I also got pretty much no fallout whatsoever, so that's always nice to see. I'm going back in with the brush that I used for the deeper purple and just kind of slightly blend over the outer V just to make sure I have that as soft as I want it to be. Might even go back in with a little bit of more of this multi-chrome right here and just pop that over top right here because it has such a pretty blue reflect. Okay, actually I think I did just cause a little bit of fallout right then. Just kind of packing one thing off top of another but I don't even care. Look how cute that is. Obsessed, obsessed. I'm gonna finish off this look with the KVD Beauty Full Sleeve Mascara. Just gonna throw that on my upper and lower lashes. I have not added any blush or anything like that yet, so I know that these are products I've been using constantly recently, but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Nearly Rose Blush from Rare Beauty, just to add a little bit of pink to my cheeks. It also has a touch of glow, so I don't think I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. I'm gonna just be happy right here like this. And then for lips, I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Opal. Just been my go-to. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look, and I love how it turned out. I love these shimmers so much. The shade that I have on my inner corner slash like made its way all over my lid i'm literally obsessed with i didn't know exactly what to expect out of this palette like i said because this is a brand new brand it's their first palette i have not watched any reviews on it i've only seen some swatches on instagram i just knew i wanted to go ahead and try it out for myself and overall i am truly impressed I feel like these shimmers are all super, super beautiful. Like I said, there is just one here that is not a multi-chrome, but I feel like all the others are. They're extremely shifty, and they're also that like super creamy, just metallic finish that I love. Like I just think it looks so, so pretty on the eyes. And then as far as the mattes go, they are very pigmented. They blended super easy. I had no issues with any of them. I'm definitely curious to play with them more and you know, use the ones that I didn't use today, but first impression, thoroughly impressed. Love to know what you guys think of this palette, if you will be picking it up when it is available again. Like I said, I'll make sure to leave their Instagram below so you can keep up with all their updates, but that is gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.